What's good, everyone? It's your boy Dak908, aka the Dig Dug himself. Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at Brachydos and Moss Hunter 3 Ultimate. Now, the reason we're doing 3 Ultimate today is because 3 Ultimate is unfortunately going to lose its online servers on the Wii U by the end of March. So, March 31st, I believe, of 2024, it servers go down and we will no longer be able to play the game online. However, I'm not sure if people who are very huge fans of the series are going to be making private servers for this game. I hope so, because this game is amazing and I love it to death. And this G rank underwater combat, third gen drip, that's your boy. But for the time being, I felt I should just probably remaster all my videos from that series. Or from that generation, you know, all the Monster Dex videos. Which I don't mind necessarily doing, because these are some of my favorite videos to make. Because uh, through you, in my opinion, is like one of the favorite games for me. So... With all that said, let's talk about Brachydos. So Brachydos, like we said before, is the flagship monster to 3U. You do fight him in the village, that's actually where I'm actually fighting him right now, but if you fight him in the online, of course, you have to both do this in high rank. Granted, this is the G rank version of that, but for the most part, they're kind of the same. So with that said, Brachydos, he hits really, really, really hard. He's a Brute Wyvern, and Brute Wyverns tend to hit hard. They're just kind of coded to do a little bit more damage than others. They are built different, if you will. And Brachydos is different from other Brute Wyverns because he's not the big dummy of a Brute Wyvern. He actually uses a lot of different tactics to actually fight. Speaking of fighting, if you look at his hands, his fists, if you will, he's very akin to that of a boxer. And he likes to use these fists, if you will, as if he's boxing. So, a lot of his attacks are him taking swings at you, the player. And certain things you have to watch out for is that the glowing balls at the tip of his hands, if you will, is what's known as slime. In the newer games, it's called Blast, but back in 3U, it was only called Slime because he was the only monster who had this particular ability. So what Slime does is that Slime is an explosive material that if you come in contact with it, you don't necessarily blow up immediately. But what he can do with it is he can use it to, like, set traps on the ground and... After a set amount of time, the slime itself will change colors. It'll go from uh, green to yellow, orange to red. And after red, it explodes. And this correlates with you as well. So if you get afflicted with slime, slime, if he hits you, or if you walk into one of these puddles, the same color transformation will happen, and the same things will happen afterwards. Granted, if you are afflicted with slime, and then he hits you with an attack that would also give you slime, you explode immediately. So you have to watch out for how he actually throws out some of these attacks because not every single one of these attacks give you slime immediately. So be careful as to how he th throws these punches out because he has quite a few different ways to do so. He can pivot punch, he can just thrust punch, he can do a, a charging punch where he just charges his body up, run at you and punch. He has a charge if you will where he'll punch the ground multiple times in a straight line he uses his horn in, in this endeavor as well where he'll do his horn by like slamming into the ground and depending on like his anger levels it'll do either a a huge blast radius around around himself and then it'll slowly explode you can look on the ground and see the lights forming or b it's just a really strong attack that he slams into the ground and it does a massive amount of damage either of which you have to kind of watch out for because it does a huge amount of damage especially with either the explosions or getting hit with the horn itself now if you were to break either of these parts on his body the hands or the horn it's not going to stop him from doing slime it just means you get carved like, you get, uh, loot options after you beat the quest. So, Bracky's a pretty wild monster. He has very similar weakness to have, like, a fire monster, if you will. So, if you bring water-type weapons, uh, you'll have a relatively decent time actually dealing decent damage to him if you're gonna go the elemental path. As far as, like, the other means go, in this general game, the raw weapons are pretty good, but elemental isn't that bad to where you can't necessarily use them either. So, either of which technically work out pretty well. Although in later generational games, the raw weapons tend to do much, much, much better against most monsters. His hit zones are very interesting as well. Um, the horn isn't necessarily a weak spot. You have to hit him in the face. So you kind of have to watch out for that. Speaking of weird hit zones, his tail. One thing to note that actually ended in this game right here is that whenever a monster did a tail, uh, tail swing or whatever, they would have to do it two times. Bracky was the exception. He couldn't just do it once. And on top of him doing the tail sweep like once and not two times, that the hitbox on it is actually very high. So odds you're actually getting hit by it isn't necessarily that good. You can still get hit by it, but you have to be at the base of the tail versus, well not the base, at the end of the club versus the base of the tail. If you're close to the base of the tail, odds are you're not going to get hit by it, but that's a small thing to make adjustments for as you're playing. It's not going to be a thing that you can utilize to guarantee yourself success, 
throughout the entire fight. But if you do find yourself in a situation where he is swinging his tail, just remember that's a safe zone for you. So I'm not going to say sit there and like heal or you could. I mean, if you're bold, you can totally do that. But it's a spot that you know that, okay, he's going to be swinging his tail. I'm here. I don't have to like try and block something or like dodge out the way. I'm safe right here. It's a bit of a safe zone. So as far as all that's concerned, that's for the most part Bracky in a nutshell. He's an amazing monster. I'm glad they made him a flagship monster, and he's returned into many other uh, many other installments of the Monster Hunter series. And he has a ton of different ways to attack you. He is no slouch when it comes to like really staying in your face. He has so many different really amazing attacks, so he commands a lot of respect. So you have to put respect on his name when you go to fight this guy, because if not, you're gonna find yourself, uh, you know, in a very bad predicament. Uh, his weapons and his gear is also fantastic, true to form of that of, of a flagship monster. So, in earnest, if you plan on getting any of his weapons, I greatly recommend doing so. In the third generation of Monster Hunter, his slime weapons are broken. Uh, the blast explosions are so powerful that the DPS you get from the blast and his actual weapons in and of themselves outpace every, if not all, weapons in the game. So, blast or slime in this particular case, is the strongest means to actually do great damage to most monsters. Some people just use those weapons exclusively. The weapons are pretty good, and the speed of some of the, the kills you get on the monsters speak for themselves. So Brachydios' armor is also very solid. The skills for it are Bomb Boost, Potential, Spirit, and Evasion, which equates to Bombardier, Adrenaline plus one, Challenger plus one, but Evasion down. So you're not going to be able to evade with the iframes as good as you used to, but you get Challenger, Adrenaline, and Bombardier. So Challenger and Adrenaline are two really cool abilities. They're basically abilities that you get once you take in a certain amount of damage, or that's uh, that's Adrenaline. Challenger is done whenever the monster is enraged. So let's say you are at like half HP and the monster's pissed off, an attack and affinity boost because of Challenger. And with Adrenaline, I think only at level one you get a defense boost. But if you get a, a uh, excuse me, Adrenaline two, you get an attack and defense boost. And also Bombardier increases the amount of damage your explosive stuff does. So I believe in three U. Have to quote me on this. I think in three U this still equated to Gunlance damage. I think. And if that's not the case, you still get an increase on your bomb damage. So to recap, Brachydos is a flagship monster, the flagship monster of Monster Three Ultimate. And he's a Brute Wyvern who commands a lot of respect. He's a bit trickier to actually fight because Brute Wyverns tend to be that way. But he's even trickier Brute Wyvern because he's a boxer. And much like any other boxer like Rocky or Apollo Creed, you kind of have to bob and weave and play around with the way in which they kind of fight. Because if you don't, they're just going to jab you to death and then you're probably going to end up with a triple card and that's not too nice. But with him, if you understand the way his attacks actually work, you pay attention to how the slime is actually activating along his body or along the ground or how it correlates with the things he's doing with you. Because remember, if he slimes you and then slimes you again, you explode. Or if you already slimed and you walk to slime, you explode. Just stay away from the slime. Don't get slimed. Watch out for the explosions, essentially. Give him a lot of room, but don't give him too much room because he will close that gap really quickly. Depending on if he's enraged or not, he'll actually do a giant leaping attack to do massive damage if he lands on you. Or he'll close the counter gap, or he'll close the gap by doing pivot punches or his charging punches. Just be careful in which how he actually closed that gap so that way you can counter around him and attack him in the back. Remember, speaking of the back, at the base of his tail, there's a sweet spot where you can kind of sit up underneath and not necessarily take any damage because the hitbox for his tail sweeps don't actually go all the way down. Um, outside of all of that, his gear is phenomenal. I like his gear. The weapons are pretty, are pretty ugly looking, honestly, but they're some of the best weapons in the game. No cap. The slime that comes on these particular weapons are probably the most broken thing in Monster Hunter history. Like, seriously, like, his slime weapons are amazingly good. His armor is pretty decent, especially as high rank is concerned, because this is a technically a high rank video, but, um... Heck, I'll give the skills to the Jerink as well. His high rank skills are Bomb Boost, Adrenaline, Challenger, Evasion Down. They're pretty decent suite of skills. They do have a lot of defense. They have a high resistance to fire. So if you're going to be fighting other monsters in the volcano, you can actually bring that as well because it's pretty solid for that. Uh, he is a technical fire monster, so he has weaknesses that of water. You have to watch out for those particular uh, encounters with other Pokemon. Pokemon? <laughs> With other monsters as well. Um, outside all these things, that is Brachydos in a nutshell. So for the most part, thanks so much for watching this video. If you found this interesting or you'd like to see me remaster any other 
3U videos, I would totally be glad to do so because the end of 3U is unfortunately a time that I didn't see coming but is actually coming upon us. And I kind of feel since this is my generation, like I should like redo these because a lot of these videos I didn't actually do post commentary for. I just kind of uploaded them raw. I think a lot of them I did that too. So I'll probably start with those. Or if you just have a particular the one you want me to actually do, we'll just do that. But with that being said, everyone, it's been your boy Dak Down Away, aka the Dig Dug himself. Thank you so much for coming and watching with this video with me today. And of course, remember if you have any requests, put them down in the comment section. Comments section. Ugh, can't talk today. But with that being said, everyone, take care.